Hey AK brothers and sisters, AK member Ray G and Ellie, and today I want to talk to you about how to take power amp output measurements using both an old school analog CRT based scope and one of the newer digital scopes that have gotten so popular. First thing though I want to talk about is the dummy load I'm going to use. This is one of the Parts Express dummy loads that you can get. This one's rated at 100 watts and I installed it in a heat sink and put a set of bananas on top. Dummy load looks like this. I know you've all seen them. Connects to the bananas on top and the other thing I did, if you can see right here, is I took some component leads and clipped them and curled them around here to give something for the uh, oscilloscope probe to grab onto. So when we connect it, we just have to clip on to here, clip on to here, and plug our amplifier into here. Makes things very convenient. So if you look on the bench here, I have a sine wave generator feeding into my bench preamp, coming out of my bench power amp, and the output of that is going to go into the dummy load which we're going to connect our scope probe to. Okay, so I'm going to pause this for a moment and move you in front of the scope. Okay, we're connected up and looking at the output of the dummy load on the Tektronix analog scope. So I'm going to turn the signal up and we're going to look for the onset of clipping. Things looking good so far. Okay, it's just starting to clip. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm going to turn it up a little more. You can see the peaks are flattening out. So I'm going to turn it down until we get a good clean sine wave. And then we're going to count on the CRT Graticule how many major and minor divisions we have. It's kind of hard to see, but if we count up one, two, three, four, five, six major divisions at, remember, 10 volts per division, not one. We're using a times 10 probe here. So we have six major divisions and one, two, three minor divisions. And at 10 volts per division, a minor division's value will be two volts. So we have 66 volts peak to peak, which is how oscilloscopes read. Now we're going to need to convert that to RMS voltage to get a meaningful calculation. So let's see here. We take the calculator and we punch in 66 divided by a factor of 2.83. It shows us 23.3 volts RMS. And if we square that and divide it by the dummy load's resistance of 8 ohms, we get 67.98 watts. Amplifier is rated at 65, so that seems reasonable to me. I'm going to pause this again. We're going to set it up to use the digital scope. Be right back. Okay, we're connected to the digital scope now. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to run our signal up. and look for onset of clipping. There we go. You can just start to see it clipping at the top and the bottom here. So I'm going to drop that back down and that's a good clean signal. Now, what we can do on this scope is we can select measure and add RMS volts and we hit add there turn the menus off and I'm going to zoom in a little bit right there in the lower corner of the screen hopefully you can see this we're reading 23.1 volts RMS now we do the same thing with our calculator difference being that now we don't have to divide we have 23.1 volts rms so there's no need to divide by 2.83 
to get RMS volts. We already know that value. So we square that and divide it by the 8 ohms of the dummy load. And that gives us 66.7 watts. Again, the amp's rated at 65, so I'd say that's pretty close. Anyhow, I just wanted to make this video. I want to give back to the community that has given so much to me. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks a lot. We'll talk again soon.